parts of the micro scale has proven tricky. Conventional designs often don't function very well when they're that small, while others work but rely on mechanisms like magnetism, which can't be easily integrated into existing electronic systems. But the new design, called a surface electrochemical actuator, can be fabricated using similar processes to those used to produce microchips. That means the tiny legs can be added directly to the devices that control them. To make the legs, a seven nanometer thick sheet of platinum is coated on one side with an inactive material like graphene. The legs are then patterned using a technique called lithography and the excess material is removed. In order to work, the legs need to be in water, but the concept is relatively simple. When a current is passed through the platinum, charged water particles are attracted to the uncoated surface. The force of these particles binding to the metal creates stress on one side of the sheet and that is what makes it bend. By reinforcing sections of the sheet, the bending can be controlled more specifically. And voila, a tiny robot leg. The robots are equipped with two minuscule solar cells. By shining a laser on each one, researchers can create the voltage which activates the front or back legs. These new actuators allow the tiny circuit to move. And because they are created using the same well-understood manufacturing processes as semiconductor electronics, their production can be easily scaled, making millions of tiny robots at the same time. Swarms of robots so small that they can be injected through a hypodermic syringe and collected using a pipette. Freaky stuff.